I've heard the legends of the fabled Uniview Unicorn, but I wasn't sure if they were true or not until today. Ladies and gentlemen, I have right here in my presence a Uniview Unicorn in VR server. I don't even know what we want to call this thing, honestly. I mean, by definition, it is a network video recorder because it records video over the network, but it does so much more than that. What all does it do? Honestly, I'm not even exactly sure. Like I said, this is my first time ever seeing the box. I've never actually seen a Uniview unicorn with my own eyes. So we are going to experience this together. Let's go. All right, what do I got here? This is it. Oh, that's heavy. Got all kinds of cables here. Uh, I don't even know. We'll get all this out here in a second. I just want to see how big this thing is. Here it is, the unicorn. All right, let's take a look at this beast. Well, I guess it's a... Uh, it's a unicorn, it's not a beast. Let's take a look at this mystical creature. Sure, we can call it that. We have these lights here at the front, numbered one through 16. We have 16 hard drive slots in this thing. So those lights uh, correspond to a hard drive. Channel-wise, this thing can hold up to 2,000 channels. Uh, and, and not just cameras, this thing can take any kind of IP device. So you can add an NVR to this, and it doesn't have to be on the same network either, which really opens up the possibilities for these unicorns. So you can have, say, a multi-campus uh, school or business, several different large surveillance systems uh, across your different campuses, and you can send all of the individual NVRs through Uniview's Easy Cloud right to this device to view, manage, and record your IP cameras from all over the place. And when we're talking about adding devices to this unicorn, we're not just talking about video surveillance either. Think access control devices, panels, doors, locks. Think alarm panels and alarm systems. The possibilities for this unicorn are virtually limitless. All right, here we have the back of our NVR and we're gonna take a look at these connections. Uh, the first thing you'll see is we do have slots for two power supplies so we can have redundant power just to make sure this thing is always on. Even if one power supply fails, the other one is still going. Down here on the bottom, left to right, I'm not gonna talk about what these connections do. I'm just gonna point them out for now. We will have a totally different video going in depth on the unicorn and everything that it can do. But for a basic rundown, we have SFP1, SFP2. We have not one, not two, but four network ports. A quad NIC setup here. We have an RS485 port, an RS232 port. We have four USB 3.0 ports. We have an eSATA connection. We have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, VGA. We have our audio in and audio out connections. We have a slot here to connect this to a storage expander. In a nutshell, the Unicorn comes with 16 hard drive slots, but there is an expander that you can get for this, and you can expand this up to 38 hard drive slots. We don't currently have the expander in stock, but we will be getting that in the next couple of months, so always be sure to stay tuned for that. We have our power button, we have our reset button, and here we have our uh, alarm in and out connections. Included in the box, we do have one power supply. Uh, you can purchase an additional power supply, which you can install in the second one. But for now, let's go ahead and put this power supply in, and we're gonna get this thing booted up. We can hand screw that into place with this little knob here, and we have our power supply installed. Also included in the box, we have our power cord. Here we go, you guys ready? That thing is pretty loud, which is to be expected. Let me turn this microphone around so you can hear it. I've connected it to our HDMI, so let's check this out. And nothing appears to be happening I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to our network while we're waiting for it to come up. I will say those fans feel good. 
This room's pretty hot, there's not much airflow, but I can definitely feel the fans coming off of that unicorn. Well, that was anticlimactic. We'll come back to that in a second, but first, let's take a look at everything else that came included in the unicorn box. All right, we've got these little plastic pieces. Uh, these are either gonna be how you install your hard drive, uh, or maybe they hold your hard drive into place. Uh, we will investigate that further. Uh, what else do we have? We've got our mouse here to operate the unicorn. We've got a grounding cable. We've got the terminals for the alarm in and out connections. We do have some additional hardware here that came with the power supply. And I think that's it. So now I'm gonna go grab a hard drive because I don't think this thing is gonna run without a hard drive. Pause. All right, I'm gonna stop myself right there because I had a bit of a learning experience as I was setting this up. So instead of showing you the whole video, I'm just going to speed up the footage and give you a little voiceover to let you know how it went. My main issue when it came to setting up the Unicorn server is that I wasn't treating it like a server. I was treating it like an NVR. And again, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it does record video over the network, so it does perform the same function as an NVR. But again, it does so much more than that. So that was my main takeaway as I was setting this up. It's not an NVR. For instance, when I went to install the hard drive, I immediately just started unscrewing every screw I could find until I got to the very end. For some reason, this back panel just wouldn't come off and then it hit me. The final screw was hidden behind this scary piece of tape that says, do not remove lest you void your warranty. So clearly I was going about this the wrong way. Next, I tried using these plastic pieces to install the hard drive into these slots on the back. It wasn't until later that I realized these slots are actually for additional video decoders. So we do have this built-in video decoder that has an HDMI 1 and 2, as well as the VGA, but you can get two additional decoders for this to add even more HDMI ports which is helpful when you're constructing a video wall, which keep that in mind because we will talk about that again here in a couple minutes. Finally, I discovered that I was making this way too complicated. All I had to do to install the hard drive was unscrew these two screws on the front, remove this cover and stick the hard drive in the slot. What you see here is me sticking this into the hard drive slot 16 instead of slot one, but I do change that later. So at this point, I'm thinking the unicorn is gonna boot up now. I'm gonna see the interface once I turn it on since I have a hard drive installed. But no, that wasn't the issue either because I still got a blank screen. So instead I hopped on the web interface, which looks very nice by the way, but nowhere in this interface could I find settings for the HDMI output. After playing around with the web interface for a little bit, I decided to download the VMS software this is sort of like the Easy Station software, except it's specifically for the Unicorn server. It was here that I discovered the settings for the video wall, either with the built-in video decoder or the additional decoders that you can add to this. That's when it hit me that again, this is not an NVR. I was expecting it to have an HDMI interface, but that's not really how this machine works. The web interface is how you manage the server. The HDMI and VGA outputs are solely for video decoding. Once I told the Easy VMS software which devices I wanted to display on my HDMI 1 port, I instantly got video on that screen. You can display up to 64 devices on HDMI 1 and 2, and you can display up to 32 devices on the VGA output. And then obviously, if you have additional decoders, you have a ton more options on where to show your devices. And now you know everything that I know about this Unicorn server. There is a lot more to dive into. We have a lot more testing to do. So stay tuned because again, we are going to have a much more in-depth video on the Uniview Unicorn. In the meantime, let us know down in the comments below if you have any questions at all about the unicorn and we will do our best to answer them. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it piqued your interest in the unicorn. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us across social media so you don't miss the next in-depth unicorn video. Thank you so much for watching and happy installing.